any sound. Oh, well, anyways, 29th of uh, September 2016, we have a uh, another typhoon or a depression I, at this point, I would say, in the Pacific Ocean, and it just happened to, you know, form in the same place the last couple have, last couple of uh, tropical depressions have formed in this area, and I mean, there's definitely something at the bottom of the ocean, right here in this spot, that creates these typhoons. I mean, it, they always start right here by these islands, right here by Guam, basically, in the, in this area of the Pacific. And they just, it, I, you know, it it has to be an eruption at the bottom of the ocean. That's what these all these typhoons and cyclones and hurricanes and whatnot, like over here, right? There's a couple over here by Mexico. It was yesterday. There's one right, little one right here. It starts off. It started off like right in here where I pointed out before they start off right about in here um, let's see uh, some strange weather here in the Pacific or strange uh, different let me just say it's different right here this is definitely a different pattern that I've seen I haven't seen this yet this curve area here and if you look on wonder maps you can actually see the uh, the Jupiter storm basically that I pointed out before in the Gulf of Alaska a big round eye right there you'll see a big round it looks exactly like the Jupiter storm because it's ex it is exactly like the Jupiter storm excuse me okay so what we got going on over here this right here we've been having a, a swarm of earthquakes in Puerto Rico right here and I'm sure there was an eruption at the ocean floor and that's what causes those earthquakes in that swarm there and that's what creates that depression right there all right that low pressure area right there that's definitely a, an eruption at the ocean floor heating the water it like a like a column of water being heated you know you can imagine a volcano under the water it's going to heat up that water above it and it, then it gets up to the surface and this is what happens that's my that's my theory and it it checks out every time I mean it really does there's def there's definitely a bunch of earthquakes here over the last couple of days yesterday when I checked there were six of them yesterday S just six uh, yeah there was at least six yesterday right in this area so when you have a swarm of earthquakes in an area that's already we know has uh, volcanoes all around here you just uh, when you see that r that spinning weather like that you just know there's there's must have been an eruption there and uh, that's pretty important to watch for that whenever you see those small you know rotating areas there like there be one they sometimes form right here I pointed out before you'll see a, a nice uh, cyclone right there that's because there's an undersea volcano right there and you can look that up if you'd like and when that undersea volcano erupts you will see a cyclonic reaction right there and it'll come this way and it'll hit over here that's what happens so that these super typhoons that are hitting Taiwan in a you know the, this is a big eruption here. This is these ones are big, and and they a few of them happen during typhoon season. There there's several of them throughout the season, and that's what starts it right there in the same place every time. I I guarantee that's what that is. I mean, there's a way to check that out. Just pay attention to it. I, that's what I do. I just pay attention to it, and you can see eventually you'll see up here too around these areas here. We just, usually associated with earthquakes and whatnot. Ooh, nice. Look at that. It's so rare to see uh, weather come onto the land like that. Or whatever. I mean, not necessarily weather, but rotation, uh, circulation, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, look at that up there in the North Sea. Whew. This is near Iceland. We have one 
right near Iceland. So you, you can associate. You can go ahead. I would just go ahead and associate that with some kind of eruption at the ocean floor along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge or over here where it's above the area where it's showing. It's usually not right above the area where it happens. I mean, obviously, hurricanes and typhoons move, but they still hold that pattern. They still hold that same pattern if you look at it in the weather. But this is this one here was really interesting. I'm telling you, that's a, that's a neat one right there. That was new to me yesterday when I turned this on. Anyways, I wanted to point that out. And that's about it. Have a great day.